Okay. So now I'm starting the session. We already discussed how to launch the browser and get the URL. And we have discussed after opening of the browser, how can you inspect the elements and interact with the elements. Now, today I will be discussing one more concept that is weight. Okay, so what is the meaning of a weight? Let us give you the one practical thing. When I am going to this google.com, right now I am not getting any options over here. But when I write, then only I get the options. Say when I write R, so I will get these options available. When I write M, then I get these options available with me. So it means these options were not present at initial level but when I am typing it then only I am getting these options available so if these options are not available I cannot click on them so I have to wait for these options to pop up like if I write pizza pizza then I will get these options and then I can select from here then again if I click on this option pizza hut near me it is taking some time to come these 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 links were not present initial level when i click on it then it will come so it will take some friction of seconds okay so if these elements are not available and i write driver dot find element by x path but that particular element is not visible is not available is not interactable at that point of the time then it will immediately show you the error that I am not able to click on the element as the element is not located. So what I have to write? I have to write some wait command so that it can wait for the element. As a manual testing engineer also, I'm not when I click on this Pizza Hut locator, then I will wait for these up this Pizza Hut locator to load actually. It is taking time, so I'm waiting now, right now. And now when it is loaded. Then only I can do something over here. That is, I want to sit, select the city or I want to do another. So again, when I click Adarsh Nagar and I click on search, then again, it will take some time to come. So in that way, I want to work on it. So for that particular thing, understood what is the meaning of it? Okay. When the element is not available, but I want to click on it. I want to kind of type on it, but initially it is not available. So I have to wait for it. That is a called wait. Now you have to understand what is the difference between wait and thread dot sleep. We have also used this thread dot sleep in our previous program. Thread is a class coming from Java dot lang package. And sleep is a method which sleeps the program for some milliseconds. That is after thread dot sleep program will not work for that much time okay so we can use thread dot sleep or we can use wait command wait command is provided by selenium selenium provides a wait command and it provides two kind of the wait command implicit and explicit wait but before that let us try to use thread dot sleep and then we will try to use wait and then we will compare both of them which is better for us. So let us write one example of this Google only. So this is, we have written in our previous example, Google test extends page. <coughs> page I think you have known already familiar. What is this page? Page means in which we have written open browser and close browser reusable components. So here we have passed which browser to open and I want to open the google.com. After that, I want to search something on Google. See, after that, I want to search something over here in this text box. So I have to again inspect this element. <coughs> Here I want to type, the code will be highlighted. If I copy the code, copy 
x path and then come to my program and write driver dot find element by dot <coughs> x path then double click quotes then paste inside the double quotes and then dot what I want to do type the type means send keys this is the same code which you have done same code which we have done in our previous examples same thing and uh, uh, we have typed on an uh, Facebook user ID, Facebook password by taking the XPath. Then again, we have in and uh, Times of India poll example. We have and uh, uh, typed uh, the answer that is four plus four is equal to eight. We have typed that thing and uh, the same thing like here. We are typing pizza on this text box. But again, if I look at this ID, so I told you whenever I take the XPath, it automatically takes the ID of the element. Otherwise. It takes the element uh, ID of the parent element to make the X path. So now again, if I look at this ID, this is little bit uh, ditchy, like A P J F Q B. Not a proper word like email or user ID or something like that. So these type of the like we have also to, to shown you in. Facebook example, it was coming u underscore zero five underscore m m m. So that was dynamic. It was it was changing. So here also I cannot trust this particular ID because this ID may change. It is not a proper world. So what I will do? I will create my own X path. So I will not use it. And how to create your own X path? Double slash, then star, then square bracket. Then you can search the attribute. These are the attributes: JS name, class, ID. This is the ID. Max length, name is equal to Q. And these are the these are the attributes. So I can use any of these attributes. Like here, I can look at title is equal to search. This is this is little bit better. Title is equal to search, or type is equal to search. This is better. Then ID is equal to APFY, or name is equal to Q, or and a class is equal to GL. So this is better option. So I will use this. Type is equal to search. So what I will write within square brackets instead of using ID, I will use at the rate attribute name is type is equals to single quotes. Why I am using I and I've shown you because that thing I'm not getting uh, proper words. So I'm using a this search. <coughs> okay. So now it will find the element by the name of type is equal to search in the, in this google.com and it will send the keys pizza over here. Understood? After that, 
what i want to do when i write anything over here the options are coming like here if i write these are whatever you are doing manually you have to follow the same steps there is no logic building when i when i was teaching core java then also i told you do not worry about this programming concepts or anything you have to ju just know the basic syntax of writing a java program and in we are not a developer we do not have to write a complex code we have to just follow the steps which we are doing manually same steps we have to follow and write the program and everything is in built library so here also now now i have launched the browser we have written google.com and then i have typed this pizza now what is the manual action the manual action is that i want to click somewhere like i want to click on this pizza hut near me again when i inspect this element pizza hut near me that is i want to click on it and if i again take the the x path i am showing you there is a demonstration and also how you will think and i copy the x path and again if i write over here that is next step is after typing i want to driver dot find the element on which i want to click <coughs> now i want to click on it and again i have copied the x path i will within double quotes i will paste the x path now again if you look at it there are two problems the problem number 1 is that this element is not having the id so what it is doing it is taking the id of the parent now the parent id it will take from above like that and i told you it discussed here id it is taking this one this id so it is a parent id this id it is taking and it is making the path from here so now it is making the path from here to here but the uh, no but it is not fixed that this pizza hut near me will come at this location only it may happen that next time when i run this program pizza hut is coming on this position fourth position and say pizza hut delhi is coming at first position it's not these positions are not fixed maybe some another day pizza delivery near me is coming at this position so what it will do at this span position whatever that whatever the value it is getting it will click on that particular thing okay now this is not fixed this is not fixed that it will come at this location whatever is coming at this location it will click on it that is the first problem and again second problem is that the id which is it is taking is also not reliable j2 whatever it is written writing this one j z2 s b f again this is not reliable id this id may also change so now again the i have to create a my own x path so why i am creating my own x path that reason you are understanding here also i was getting something like and so i was not trusting it so i was creating my x path here also i want to create the x path because id is not proper and one more thing that it will it is taking the path of this span and whatever is coming on this span it will click on it but i want to click on pizza hut near me only so again i will create my own x path <coughs> now what to use let me see now if we look here no attribute is given span span does not have any is equal to attribute but i have a text with me so i told you that we can use a text also double click on this text control c that is wherever i am finding hut near me and if the text is taking space you have to take the spaces of also and then you can write text function in so here we are not using at the rate at the rate is used with the attribute if you want to compare it by the text then we write text function circular bracket is equals to single quotes and then paste the text if a space is there a space will be counted 
do not remove the space. So let us try to run up to here. Whether it is typing or not, I want to type say pizza. In center is, and then I want to click wherever I am getting hat near me. I want to click on it. So let us try to execute. It has typed, but it has not clicked hut near me. And now you see, hut near me is not coming at first position. It is now coming at this position, third position. But it has not clicked it, and you should see <coughs> error is coming. And what is the error? The error is saying that I am not able to locate hut near me. Now, what is the reason behind it? That as soon as it has performed this action, send keys. Immediately, it is trying to click on this text, but this text is coming after clicking. It will not come immediately. It will take some time, some fraction of seconds. But it is not waiting. After doing this thing, it is immediately clicking on this. Thing. So for that, let us try to add one thread dot silly. Say. 6000 millisecond so it takes the time in ms 6000 millisecond and whenever we are thread dot sleep it is compulsory to throw the exception or try catch block if i again run the same program and check now so what it will do after typing it will not click on this it will it will go to the sleep mode and then after that it will click on it so let us see So it has waited for some time and in that time <coughs> my page is loaded my element is visible and then it has clicked on it understood but there is a difference between thread dot sleep and wait now if i say i our class will start at 8 30 am and i will wait for five minutes for you to join so what is this five minute five minute is a wait time okay and if you are joining exactly at 8 30 then will i wait for five minutes the answer is no if you are joining at 8 32 am then again i will say okay i have waited for two minutes in two minutes time you have joined i will start the session i will not wait for three minutes more so wait is a max is a limit is a maximum time within which if you are available then i can start my session but when i write sleep 6000 millisecond the program will go to the sleep mode <coughs> Even if the element is available, <coughs> it will not click on it. It will remain in a sleep mode. That is the difference. Okay. So basically, like a like if I say and I will start at 8:30 and I will sleep for five minutes. Then even if you are joining at 8:30 exactly, then also I am sleep mode for five minutes. I will restart after five minutes only. Okay. So that is the thing. And thread dot sleep we are writing when we are writing thread dot sleep it will work for this find element only that is after searching 
wait for 6000 millisecond and then click on it again after that if i want to click somewhere else i want to type somewhere else and that element is also taking some time to come then this thread dot sleep is only for this element not for other element again i have to write thread dot sleep again so it means we have to write thread dot sleep again and again which will make my program very much slow and we have to write this again and again but if i write wait command once so whenever we are finding the element and i have written that whenever i am finding the element if element is not available wait for 5 minutes then it will means i have written this one time and whenever i am finding the element on a page and if the element is taking some time it will automatically we go to the wait mode no need to write it again and again understood so wait is better than thread dot sleep okay so i can write not press okay now wait again wait is of two types one is called explicit wait another is called implicit wait all these things i am uh, speaking and uh, if you want to write you can also that make some notes so now what is implicit wait what is explicit wait let us give me give you with the example the example is i i want to take my students for the picnic and i say tomorrow we will be going for the picnic and we will leave our school at 9 am you should all reach the school by 9 am i can wait for 10 minutes more or 5 minutes more if anyone is not coming within 5 minutes then we will leave him so this is a common time i have given to all the students that is we will be leaving at 9 am and in case someone is not coming someone is not present then bus will wait for 5 minutes more so that is a time i have given to all the candidates common time that is called implicit wait so implicit wait is a general time given to all the elements whenever we are inspecting and finding the element on a page we have given the common time that if the element is not available wait for this much more <coughs> now on the day when i was going for picnic one student called me up he <coughs> said i was on my way but my car got punctured and i am taking three wheeler to reach the school and i am on my way i will it will take 2 to 3 minutes more to reach kindly wait for me so it means that is called explicit wait that is that is we have given a common time to all of them but because that particular candidate is not able to come to school in the specific time limit because of certain condition then i am giving some grace time to him to to that can, candidate only not to all of them only to that candidate because he is having some specific condition then only i am giving some time to him so that is called explicit wait that is if i say element is available but i am not able to click on it and the error is coming element is not clickable or element is not interactable so sometimes what the what does the you know, developers do so that we are not able to automate them they write certain code in that way that we are not easily able to connect with them otherwise they can any person can hack their website the it is basically what i am doing this automation automation is nothing but we are actually hacking a website 
and doing it the process in a automated way so they do not want their their websites to be easily and a automated so they write some code behind it so that you are not able to easily click on them or type on them so what happens sometime you see that you have written thread dot sleep you have written when a uh, this thing and a implicit weight and after that also you are not able to click or type on an element and it is it is showing the error if the error is coming these are the important thing which i am saying now you have to also look at the error when the error is coming over here you have to look at the error also what is the error coming if the error is saying like here uh, previously it was saying not able to locate the element if this error is coming then it means your x path is not correct or you have not added the wait time implicit wait time but if your error is saying that element is not interactable element is not clickable then in that case it means you are able to locate the element but you are not able to click on it in that case you have to use explicit wait so first of all i will use explicit wait i think you have understood the difference between implicit wait and explicit wait so 90% work is done by implicit wait only okay 90 to 95% work is done by implicit wait only in 5% cases only when implicit wait is not working then we have to write the explicit wait so now i am writing explicit wait explicit wait. so first of all i write explicit wait <coughs> web driver wait wait is equal to hello okay Now web driver wait is a class. Okay. Web driver wait is a class coming from Selenium package. It takes two input. One is a web driver and, and is a duration. So now duration I am taking 60 seconds. So 60 seconds is a minimum. It will not sleep for 60 seconds. 60 seconds is a maximum time limit. It will wait if the element is not available and to show the error if the element is available in two minutes it will not wait for 60 seconds sorry two, two seconds if the element is available in two seconds it will not wait for 60 seconds it is a maximum limit i have given so again instead of thread dot sleep what i have written web driver wait new web driver duration 60 seconds and then wait until Kab tak wait karna hai? wait dot until some expected conditions wait until expected conditions and you get many expected conditions like here I will use <coughs> you can see element to be clickable so wait until element is, is clickable element to be selectable so these are the many conditions you can frame to be available so you can check from here which condition is best suited for you so i can use this presence of element located this one so i want to wait until element is present presence of element located and in presence of element located which element i am talking about this element
wait until this element is present. So pi we can use x path. This element is present, and if it is present, then dot click on it. So now there is no need to write this click. So our time time doing that is I have written the maximum time limit for this element to get present. Understood? So let us again run it. it is faster than thread or sleep it is not waited for 60 seconds as soon as it uh, gets the element it has clicked on it so it is faster than thread or sleep understood only for the demonstration i am showing you that if i if i write double e me now this text is not present only for your understanding i am showing you. now now this element will not be available so it will show the error but it will take now it will take 60 seconds time and it will wait for 60 seconds and then only it will show the error previously as soon as if i am not writing wait then it will immediately give you the error without waiting for one second also. One millisecond also it will not wait and it will give immediately give you the error. But now it will wait for 60 seconds now and then it will give you the error. Again if you see. Okay, now it will not click because M double E is not available over here. But now error is not coming. Error will come, but after waiting for 60 seconds. Now it has shown you the error after waiting for 60 seconds time. Now you can check from here. Unable to locate the element. It is giving you the error. That is this element is I am not able to locate it. And it has waited for you see waiting for the presence of element. Locate it. So it is waiting. And wait tried for 60 seconds. So it has tried for 60 seconds. And still it is not able to locate it. Understood? But now again, as I told you, in 5% cases only, I will use this explicit weight. Because again, this is a conditional weight. Wait for this element to get present. So it will work for this element only, not for other elements. Again, if I continue my test, and again, if I want, some element so i have to again write explicit weight so i have to write this explicit weight again and again so instead of that again if i use implicit weight which is i told you one time f one time you have to write and it will wait for every time we will find the element or use implicit weight 
so i i can use thread dot sweep but not prefer or use explicit weight again explicit weight is a conditional weight so if we, so we should write explicit weight only when implicit weight does not work so now what is implicit weight let us check again i go to this page dot java and in this page dot java when i get the url then i write implicit weight over here so in your in your in a computer in your system where you have written page dot java so you have to modify and change and write this thing i, I will also mail you this uh, page dot java you can copy and again you can paste it in your example wherever you created and it will overwrite so it can overwrite so it will overwrite it so you'll get this thing so now implicit width is driver dot manage <coughs> dot uh, timeouts <coughs> dot implicitly weight <coughs> duration dot of seconds so this is one time i have written that is implicitly wait for 60 seconds so now whenever i get the url whether it is facebook or google or amazon or any xyz url and i write driver dot find element on that page it will automatically wait for 60 seconds so it is one time effort whenever you are inheriting page now on google.com you do not have to write anything just you have to write driver dot find element driver dot find element and it will automatically wait for 60 second if the element is not available if it is available then it will click and work now you see i have not written thread dot sweep i have not written explicit weight i have just written driver dot find element and click and one time i have written over here this line and when i inherit it extends page open browser will open the browser and this line will add the wait time so let us run it again okay understood <coughs> it is clicking so it is working it was the previously it was not clicking now it is clicking again to demonstrate you again if i say for your understanding if i write double e over here again it means it is not a valid text so if i only for your understanding if i if i comment this line that is implicit weight i have not added if i comment it and then run it now there is no implicit weight no explicit weight no thread or sweep and this is error m double e so let us see it if it is waits or not <coughs> and if you look at the error error has automatically done not waited for single second but if i open this again <coughs> and again if i run it now i have added wait time so now let us see whether it waits or not run as java application again it will not click because m double e is not available but right now do you see error is not coming so it will keep on waiting and even if after waiting for 60 seconds if the element is not available then only it will give you the error if the element is available in between or when uh, that wait time then it will click and proceed
I think you understood what is the meaning of weight and what is the difference between sleep and weight and what is the meaning of explicit weight and implicit weight. Any problem in understanding, I can repeat it. Okay. So it will wait for 60 seconds. So you can reduce your time also. So it is waiting. It is not giving you the error immediately. And now it has given you the error. Okay. So I think you understood the difference between thread dot sleep and weight and what is the meaning of explicit weight and implicit. Okay. Now we will proceed and I will rectify it to the me only. And now we'll proceed. And now what it will do? It will click on Pizza Hut near me. Now after clicking on Pizza Hut near me, I want to click on say this one, Pizza Hut locator, Delhi. I want to click over here. Okay. So I get many links. <coughs> Pizza Hut locator, Pizza Hut near me. So these these are many links coming. Okay. So I want to click one. This particular link, Pizza Hut Locator, Delhi Pizzas. Now again, if I inspect the element, here, if I inspect the element and copy the X part. Now, this element also after clicking on hut near me this link will not be available right now immediately it will take some time to come but no worries i have added one time implicit weight it will automatically work for all the find element okay so 80 to 90 percent case no problem but in 5 10 percent cases if again you are running a program even after adding the implicit weight time then also it is giving you the error that element is not located then kindly check your x path again maybe your x path is wrong or dynamic or even if or if again error is coming and your x path is also right then you can try explicit weight, weight or thread dot c explicit weight is better than thread dot c Again, I want to click on some link. <coughs> I have copied the X path and I will paste it over here. Again, what it has done, it has used some ID of the parent and created the path up to this element. Now, same problem that I want to click on this link. It's not compulsory that this link will come at this position only. It may come to first position, it may come to second position, it may come to this, any of these positions. So, how to do it? And second thing is, again it is using the ID, this one, which is again not reliable, RSO. So, I will create my own XPath. Now, to create your own XPath, attribute is not available because class is given. Class is equal to. And again, class is equal to is something like that, LC2B. So I will not use it. But what is available? Text is available. So even if it is coming to the third position or fifth position, this text will not change. So I can use this text again. And now instead of using this, copy X path. I can use double slash star square brackets and is in square bracket I can write text is equals to single quotes and the text. Okay, so in that way we can 
we can create our own extra and why we are creating that also you are understanding double slash star square bracket text function is equal to this text function okay now it will click on this text pizza hut locator this one so it will click over here and now again i want to get the order or details i want to order or want to get the details i want to order something so i want to click over here so it is a continuation so when the link is opening one after another maybe the url is changing previously it was google then i change to search and then search result and then to a specific url uh, again this is this is different url but no problem because it is opening on a same tab even if the url is changing no problem you can just write simple as a manually we are doing so we can simply write so now i want to click the order for carol bar now again if i inspect this element order that is i want to click on this order i want to click the order for this one carol bar so again if you see same thing if i copy the xpath id is not available so it will takes a id and make the path but the problem is same that carol bar and kamla nagar may position may inter exchange on some day on some day it it may not fix maybe janpath is coming at second position and carol bag is coming at first position now again if i use this order you see order over here now order is many orders here also i am getting the order so i cannot use the order text if you want to use this order text you will get many many order many orders are available over here so you cannot use this order also then what to do then you see over here there is one a href this one okay this a href is a link when i click on this order it will open this url so i will use this url on which it is when i click on this when i click on this order this is the link which is which is, which will be opening up this one so i have copied this link only okay and now what i can do again driver dot find element by dot xpath and i will create my own xpath again double slash star square bracket and the attribute is what is the attribute href okay so i will use this attribute at the rate because it is attribute so i will use at the rate href is equals to single quotes and copy the link so basically basic understanding is different approaches here that is if i want to click on the order and i want to click the order for this tank road kamla nagar uh, the what is it tank road karol bag then in that particular case i want to click the order for this now i am getting many order buttons if i use the x path so it will take the location according to the order and maybe order may change sometime it may come up sometime it may come down but i want to click on this thing i cannot use a text also order because this is also having the same text this is also having the same text so what i do i copied the this link when i click on this order this link will come 
So I've copied this link and use this attribute HRU. So click on this order. Understood, I think. Okay. So now again if I run it and the uh, and the example to show is that again we are finding these elements and these elements are not coming coming immediately. Whatever I'm doing. So we do not have to write thread or sleep again and again. We do not have to write explicit weight again and again. We have one time written this implicit weight. And whenever I am finding the element on this page or any page, I am finding the element on this page, google.com or on another page, it will automatically wait for the element. One time you have to write. So I will run it again and then check it. See, it is waiting. I think some error is coming. It is waiting, but it will show the error. So maybe our this one is wrong. Error is coming. HTTPS backspot. Here it is giving the error. HTTPS Pizza Hut dot co dot in. Let us see. Let us inspect it again. Let us try to use these details. And after that, okay, when I click, and in in this href, this is span number one. This is span number two. Okay, so it's, I want to click on these details. Span S P A N span. So after that, I will write slash. SPAN is span number two. So we have taken the path of this A and inside that this is span number one, this span number two. So I want to click on these details. So let us check again.
okay so it has clicked on the element now it is working so it has clicked on this tank road tank road link it has clicked okay now one last thing that when we are going from one page to another page then we can go back and forward also here you see this is back button and this is forward button and if i want to go to the back two times i can click on here two times back again back and forward so this is called navigation that is we are navigating from one page to another page and we can also click on this refresh button here so if you want to navigate back and forward or do or refresh then in that case we will not use driver dot get url driver dot get url will not go back forward so again i will write not prefer <coughs> will not go back forward or refresh instead of that i can use another method <coughs> which is driver dot navigate dot to so in navigate you can you can find these method sorry driver dot navigate dot driver dot navigate to you will find these methods back forward refresh to but in get you will not find anything so you cannot go back or forward or refresh so if i want to go to the url i will i will use to url so it will take me to the specific url like here same thing and the advantage is driver dot navigate to url so it will take me to the specific url now i am going clicking and going to the next page and clicking and going to the next page and say i want to go back then what i can do i can write drive driver dot navigate dot back so it will take you back if you want to go back again driver dot navigate back like this if you want to go forward forward in that way and if you want to refresh so we get these methods by which we can go back and forward hence it is better to use driver dot navigate so it is better can go back forward so both are correct but this is better too and now we have added two lines in my page dot java instead of using get i am using navigate to url and we have added the implicit wait time so that when we are whenever we are finding the element on a page on a url it will wait automatically for this one now we'll run it again now before uh, going back i will again write thread dot sleep why i am writing thread dot sleep only for your demonstration purpose so that it can wait 
and then it will go back not immediately then it will wait and will go back not immediately then it will wait wait and go forward again so only for your understanding i am writing thread or otherwise otherwise what it will do it will do the things in very fast way back back forward it will do it without thread or sleep also it will work but in a faster way and you will not be able to view it so that's why i'm just added it no need for a thread or sleep only for your understanding so that it does not immediately go back so i've added this thing so again i will execute it so i think you in today's class you have understood the meaning of thread or sleep and wait and explicit wait implicit wait and <clears throat> what is the meaning of navigate back and forward so it will wait some time and it then it will go back now it is going back again it will wait and go back back now it will again go forward and refresh okay i so now we'll keep up to here so i will share this uh, example and the video link with you